Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Muna Shibal and I'm a manifestation and soul rate alignment coach. My channel is geared towards helping you become your highest potential so that you can create and live the extraordinary life that is your birthright. In today's video, I want to talk about how every circumstance you experience is part of the unfolding of your manifestation. But before we get started, I just want to remind you that if you have something that you would like to manifest or you've been struggling to manifest something for some time, or you have some blocks relating to your manifestations, or you're simply having difficulty believing that you can manifest, I can help you with all of that. I offer both email and video coaching. The information is all in the description below. So you definitely want to check that out if you need help with manifesting. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon in order to receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. So let's get started. This video is super inspired by my own experiences because I have been on my own journey in manifesting multiple things in my life. And what I'm about to share in this video is often the reason people give up. And I want to share this with you because it is very important. Now you always hear circumstances don't matter and for the reflection in the mirror to change, you have to change first. All of these are very fine and dandy, but then when you are doing all the work and you've been very good about doing all the work, you've been persistent, you've been affirming, you've been working on releasing negative assumptions, you're focused in the direction of what you want, your mental diet is clean, you're not reacting to circumstances, and then boom, you manifest something that reflects the opposite of what you want or it shows you that you're just not on the right path or it may seem that you are not on the right path. And this is what I want to talk about in this video because everything you are experiencing when you are doing things right, and very important because when I say you're doing things right, don't question what you're doing you know if your mental diet is spot on or not. When you're wavering, when you're looking at the opposite of what you want, when you're dwelling on the negative, you know, you know that you're not being consistent. So that's something else. Here I'm talking about you have been unwavering, you've been doing the work, you really are predominantly in a good place. Now, of course, sometimes we have thoughts that come and go. It's all perfect. Sometimes we have days when we react. It's perfect, but it's about where you are predominantly and you have been predominantly where you need to be. Yet, yet you're still experiencing some undesired circumstances. And I want you to know that everything you are experiencing is part of the unfolding of your manifestation because for you to be able to get what it is that you want, you may, I don't want you to expect to manifest undesired circumstances. Let's get that off the table. You don't necessarily have to experience that, but you may experience certain things that make you wonder, what am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. This is part of the release of assumptions that need to be released in order for you to have your manifestation in the way that you desire in order to have it in its full manifested form in its highest potential because let's say for example you have a lingering belief within you or assumption within you that you're not worthy of love it's still there right even though you're affirming, even though you're working on your self-concept, even, even, even. If you were to manifest your relationship, you're going to manifest it in a less than ideal way. So really what's happening, your higher mind is guiding you on releasing everything in the process that's going to allow you to manifest your desire in its highest potential. And this means in a way where it's going to be lasting, it's going to be smooth sailing, it's going to be everything that you want and more. In order for you to do that, you need to release these assumptions. Now, 
these issues that I talk about, these undesired circumstances can be at several levels. The first level is it's an undesired thought or memory. So something of your past, a painful memory, something that bothers you from your past, and it's coming into your mind and it's triggering you. So it's a triggering thought, it's a triggering memory. That is the first level. When you get it, actually that's a very good level because when I talk about the other levels, they range from just a thought to a full manifestation. But let's, let's not go there. Let's take it one step at a time. It is an undesired thought or memory, something that brings you pain or something that makes you feel like you're never going to get what you want. It's like an old pattern that is reminding you. It's an old memory or a, a thought that is reminding you that you don't have your manifestation. When you have that, you ask yourself that question, what must I believe about myself, about the other person, if there's another person involved, or about circumstances in general to be manifesting this thought or memory. That is the first level. And you do this for all the other levels I'm going to talk about. So it's a thought, it's a memory of something undesired. The second level, second level is an emotion, a fear. You fear you're not going to get what you want. Generally, this emotion is tied to a thought. So sometimes it's just a thought that comes to your mind, a memory. Sometimes it's an actual emotion such as fear. You fear you're not going to get what you want. The third level is a dream. You may dream something that is the exact opposite of what you want. And I share when is a dream a first level manifestation and when is it an actual purge? I share that in a video, I will link it above. Sometimes it is just a purge. Sometimes it's a first level manifestation. The first level manifestation is you not being focused in your mental diet. When you've been focused in your mental diet, you're doing the work, this is a purge. The purge is releasing an assumption in order for you to get what you want. The final, final level is an actual undesired circumstance. You manifest the exact opposite of what you want. So these are the levels. There's the thought, the emotion, the dream, and finally the undesired circumstance. All of these are part of the unfolding in order for you to get what you want in its highest form. You have to release these. You have to release the assumptions that you're still holding on to for some reason. And sometimes, these assumptions are not covered in your affirmations and that's why you may be experiencing this in order to release it because when you're affirming and you're saying all kinds of affirmations you're creating a new story sometimes you miss this assumption now ideally create a very comprehensive list of affirmations so that you cover everything but you can't always nail every single last assumption and it's okay, it's okay because then it will come up in these forms. And you can set a rule for yourself. I'm always conscious and aware of all assumptions that need to be released. Because when you bring them to the forefront, when you realize that, oh yeah, this is something I needed to release, you'll feel lighter, you'll feel it, you'll feel better because you can absolutely ignore it because circumstances don't matter, whether it's a thought, it's emotion, a dream, or a actual manifestation. At all levels, circumstances don't matter. You can absolutely ignore them, but sometimes you feel you need to release. There's something that needs to be released that's really going to make you feel better because you don't have to question why I'm, what am I doing? Am I doing anything wrong? This stuff does not work. It helps you remain unwavering in your faith. Ignoring can help you, but you want to remain unwavering in your faith. And when you bring it to the forefront and release it, you feel much better. You feel, okay, I see why I actually manifested that. 
everything you are experiencing is part of the unfolding. So don't give up. Don't give in to the issue. Don't spiral. Even if it's a physical manifestation, it's the last form you manifested an undesired circumstance, whatever that is, you release the assumption and then you persist. You will get what you want. It's part of your manifestation. Do not give in to the circumstances. That's why they always say persist. Circumstances do not matter. For the reflection in the mirror to change, you must change first. This is what this means. You have to persist. It's all part of it. It's all perfect. Now, again, you don't necessarily have to manifest this if there are no patterns or unreleased thoughts or assumptions within you. You don't necessarily need to experience that. But this is for you if you have really been doing the work and you have manifested something undesirable, whatever the level it is. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please hit the thumbs up. This will help my message to spread. And of course, do not forget to subscribe and I will look forward to seeing you again in the next video.